Hi, I'm Nick, founder of Lunatech and creator of Aquabot. It was on a backpacking trip a few years ago with some family that it came up with the idea for Aquabot. We were just tired of boiling water all the time and wanted our water bottles to work more efficiently. In the end, we created a really cool piece of gear. It's got tons of functionality, it's fun to use, and it's simple. You just twist it on, pump it up, and with the cap all the way on, you've got mist. As you twist the cap, you get a jet that shoots over 25 feet. You take the cap all the way off, you get a power shower. We've got attachment points for lanyards and carabiners. It's got a variable flow control trigger, so you use just the right amount of water. It works upside down or in any direction. It's even got a stealth mode, but I'll let you figure out how to use that. It's also made from BPA-free materials that are food safe, meaning you're just carrying your water bottle. It's actually easy to drink from because you don't have to take your lid off or tip your head back. Wash your windows. Water your plants. Water your dog. Water your other plants. Clean your grill. Spray the camera guy. Bathe your kids. Clean your house. Wash your car. Wash your neighbor's car. Water your lawn. Thanks for watching our Kickstarter video. We've taken Aquabot as far as we can financially. We're currently building the injection molds and have paid for those, but we don't have enough money for inventory. So please help us rake in some extra cash. Dig deep. Boop, boop, boop. And back us up. Hey Kickstarters. We developed a minimalist high-tech footwear designed to protect your feet doing any sport you do or could do barefoot. I do kitesurfing and I have cut my feet so many times and I had the almost um, destroyed holidays by having cuts in my feet that I decided I must do something against. Get ready to take your first few steps back into your sport while freeing your feet. My passion is kiteboarding. That's where the idea originated. Even at the most beautiful beaches, there is always danger lurking hidden amongst sand and stones. There just had to be a decent solution without putting thick neoprene shoes on your feet in desert warm conditions. There are many sports where you would like to be barefoot, but the risk to get injured is too high, so you don't do it. For example, at board sports and martial arts, balance and equilibrium is very important. And for beach volleyball, it's important to get protected against objects which can be hidden in the sand. But fives are for any sport you do. Running, ball sports, water sports like surfing, trail running, climbing, and even daily routines. With the socks, I'm not anxious anymore of getting cut or injured because I have confidence that I'm protected. The, the initial development was made with the Kevlar yarn because that was, at the time, the most known yarn to be resistant against abrasion and cut. As a scientist, I'm always interested in evolution and go further. And I was searching for even more stable yarn, you know. So we went to the Netherlands to talk to Giovanni Hansen, who will further explain the continuous innovation behind the world's strongest fiber, Dyneema. Dyneema is 15 times stronger than steel. The fiber is also very cut resistant. It has a high, very high abrasion resistance. Despite all these tough properties of Dyneema, it feels like a microfiber, like silk on your skin. Now, if you're interested in a pair of fives, let me just show you exactly what you're going to get. Each pair of fives comes in this water-resistant pouch, which is great if your fives are still wet from a day at the beach and you want to take them off, want to take them with you in a backpack without making a mess. There are many sports where you would like to be barefoot. For example, to have a better balance. But until now, you did not take the risk because there was too much chance of getting injured, for example, by deep cuts. And now, with a protection sock, you can do many sports really barefoot. Regain that natural barefoot feeling. Increase your performance with a new sense of security. And take care of your feet. 
More than 372,000 people can be saved from drowning this year. That's why it's our mission at Kinji to provide water safety. Hi, I'm Tom Agapiadis. I came up with the idea of Kinji after I lost a very good friend of mine three years ago. He drowned in a lake similar to this one, and it could have been prevented. When you drive a car, you put your seatbelt on. When you ride a bike, you put on your helmet. But how do you protect yourself in water? We set out to make the smallest inflatable in the world, and we came up with a convenient, non-intrusive way to provide safety to all of those in and around water. This is Kinji, a portable flotation device that comfortably secures onto your wrist. It's fast to deploy, durable, and contained within a compact design. Kinji helps in case of exhaustion or heavy currents, or when there's poor circulation or cramps. Anytime you're on the water, even if you're just relaxing, you'll want a Kinji for you and a friend. We like Kinji because it's small. It doesn't get in your way when you're trying to paddle out. I don't know, a lot of times when you're surfing, there's not a lifeguard anywhere near, so this gives you a little bit more sense of security. Kinji can stay inflated for over 48 hours. It includes a compass, as well as a whistle for signaling help in case of an emergency. Having knowledge and good judgment are the first steps in water safety, but Kinji can be an important aid when you're in need. It's easy and fast to deploy, and it's already been great out on rescues. Kinji is durable, and the CO2 cartridge is replaceable. So you can reuse Kinji as many times as needed. We need your help to start production and fight the dangers of drowning. With your support, you become an integral part of our team of ambassadors, and you'll be the first to receive a Kinji. Do it for yourself. Do it for your friends, surf mates, fishing bodies, and your family. Together, we can revolutionize water safety on a global scale.